Good evening and welcome to News 24. This is Mahrin Samdani with the top news of the day. Bangladesh today confirmed 35 deaths from the coronavirus infection in the last 24 hours, raising the death toll to 8,904. At least 3,908 people have tested positive for coronavirus in the last 24 hours, raising the total number of coronavirus cases in the country to 5,95,714. According to the Directorate General of Health Services, this is the highest in a single day count since July 2, 2020, when the country reported 4,019 corona cases. Meanwhile, more than 7,30,000 people were infected with corona in the last 24 hours in the world and over 11,500 died. With this, the total number of cases in the world exceeded 12 crore 74 lakhs and the total number of casualties exceeded 27,91,000. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina on Sunday reiterated her call to the people to wear face masks alongside maintaining the health guidelines and she also asked the authorities concerned to take prompt measures to check fresh surge in the COVID-19 infection. Taking part in a discussion marking the golden jubilee of the country's independence virtually from her official Gonobhavan residence, she said that inoculation against the COVID-19 that her government has initiated would be continued as it is their duty to save lives of the masses alongside ensuring their health protection. Bangladesh Awami League organized the discussion at its central office at 23 Bangabuntu Avenue in the capital. Hifazat Islam Bangladesh is observing a dawn to dusk hortal today protesting police action on their anti-Modi processions in Dhaka, Chotogram and other districts. Vehicular movement was seen normal on the streets in the capital. Workers arrived at work in the morning as usual. Leaders and activists of Hifazat staged processions in Baitul Mukarram area of Dhaka. However, the ruling party of Army League and its allies have been seen active on the streets, taking a stand against the strike. Leaders and activists of Taga Metropolitan Awami League took position at zero point adjacent to the central office on Bongabuntu Avenue. They protested against the strike there. There have also been anti-strike rallies in many areas of the capital. The Anti-Corruption Commission has arrested four people, including three current and former councillors of Cox's Bazar municipality on charges of including Rohingyas in the voter list. Two ACC teams arrested them from their respective homes on Sunday morning. According to ACC officials, Mizanur Rahman, the current councillor of Work 2 of Cox's Bazar municipality, and Javed Kaiser Noble, the former councillor of Work 10, Rafiqul Islam of Ward 11 and Didarul Islam, office assistant of Rohingya, have been included in the voter list. In this context, a case was filed against them. They were later arrested in a raid. Despite various assurances from the government, commodity prices are not declining. In some cases, it is rather increasing every week. Prices of many Ramadan essentials have increased both in retail and wholesale markets countrywide ahead of the holy month. Meanwhile, the prices of gram, sugar, soybean and other essential commodities have gone up in the Chittagong market. This trend of rising prices, even before Ramadan, has increased the suffering of the lower income people. And that's all the news for today. Thank you for watching News24. Please stay with us.